Hi everyone, I'm Jer. Welcome to Kill Devil. Today we are going to make a special syrup for my friend Pappy, and it is apple syrup. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please hit subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on anything that I make. If you're returning to the channel, welcome back. I hope you enjoy this syrup. And as always, the timestamps are down below if you want to skip my talking and get right to the recipe. Apple syrup, like most flavored syrups, is very simple. All you have to do is take a simple syrup, soak something in it until the syrup acquires that flavor, then strain out the stuff you don't want. In this case, we're going to make a simple syrup out of brown sugar. I'll show you that right here. And there will be a light brown sugar and apples. In this case, I'm going to be using sweet tango apples. You may use any apple that you'd like. I strongly recommend that you use organic so you don't get the hard waxy shell on the outside. If you have non-organic, try to scrub them so that you get the, the pesticides and stuff off the outside because you don't want that in your syrup. The next thing we're going to do after we've selected our apples and gotten our brown sugar is chop up the apples. Okay, I'm just going to chop one apple on camera because I'm chopping around my tripod and this is a little awkward. So the first thing you're going to do is chop the, or chop the apple here. Yeah, you're going to chop the apple. But cut it in half and then cut it in quarters. Then make sure you core it. And you don't want any of the seeds or any of the seed pods inside of it. So there's a couple different ways to do it. Number one, you can do a little V like this. Making it look easy because, you know, tripods. Another way to do it is if it's close enough to the surface, you can actually cut most of it out by going at an angle and then cutting it, cutting off the bits that you want. Finally, when you're chopping apples, especially if you're using organic, sometimes they've got bruising. I don't know if you can see that there. Sometimes they have some sort of discoloration or cuts in them. Try to remove those as well. Um, once you've gotten all your apples chopped to this bit, here, let's get rid of that little bruise. Then you're going to chop, chop it into smaller chunks. And the sizes of these are not too important. The smaller you make them, the more flavor you'll get out, but the more they'll dissolve into your syrup and the harder it'll be to strain out the stuff you don't want. Now, having done that, I'm going to finish the rest of these off camera. Okay, here are my chopped apples, and I put them in this measuring container, I don't know exactly what to call it, to see how, many, how much chopped apple I have. And I have about three cups, which is 720 milliliters for my Europe European friends. The proportions are what important, not the exact quantity. So if I, you could have two cups, one cup, doesn't matter. But three cups of chopped apples, and I'm going to put that in my saucepan. Then I'm going to add the brown sugar. And the ratio that you want, or that I want in this case, is 2, 1, 1. So two parts apple, one part sugar, and one part water. So because I had three and a half cups, there's one stuck in the bottom there, three and a half cups of um, apples, I'm going to put one and a half cups of brown sugar. And in this case, I'm using a light brown sugar because I don't want a really strong brown sugar flavor. I just want sweetness with some hint of the brownness. One and a half cups of brown sugar. Then we're going to do one and a half cups of water. And there's one. So again, the proportions are what important, not the exact number. So I've got three cups of chopped apples, which is 720 milliliters. I have one and a half cups of brown sugar, which is 360 milliliters, and one, one and a half cups of water, which is 360 milliliters. Now I'm going to put all this on the stovetop. All right, here we are on the stovetop. I'm going to put it on a medium heat. I'm going to bring it slowly to a boil. Actually, I'm going to do a little bit lower, a little bit lower than medium. I'm going to stir it every once in a while to make sure nothing gets stuck on the bottom. Okay, there we go. There we go. All right, so now I'm going to reduce the heat to low, and I'm going to let it simmer for five minutes. All right, that's five minutes. So I'll take it off the heat, 
and I'll let it sit until it cools to room temperature. All right, now that our apple, apple mess is done cooking, it's done cooling, there's only two things left to do. Number one, we've got to get the apple bits out of it, number one. Number two, we have to bottle it. So the first thing, and it's kind of the same process really. So I've got my funnel, I've got my fancy bottle. If you don't have a fancy bottle, you can use a non-fancy bottle. If you don't have a non-fancy bottle, you can use a mason jar or a Tupperware or anything that will give you an airtight seal. Then I also have my fine mesh strainer. And I'm going to use this to catch the apple bits. And I'm not sure if any apple bits are going to come out as I pour this. I don't know if you can see that. But the longer you keep the apple bits in the strainer, the more of the syrup you're going to get back. And holding this pan out like this, I'm a strong guy, but eventually my arm's going to get tired. So often what I do will set this handle on something so it balances and they can drain on their own. So I'm going to do that off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, bottling is almost done. You may be able to see the last bit of it straining back there. I'm left with a bottle of syrup and it's brown like a lot of my other syrups end up being brown. So the last thing I want to do is label it. I've got a little bit of masking tape. If you have fancy labels, use fancy labels because fancy is fancy. Slap it on the side and annotate it. So this is going to be brown sugar, apple, one to one ratio. Because what we did is one cup or 240 milliliters of brown sugar and one cup, 240 milliliters of water. You can also make a two to one syrup, which would be twice as much sugar. So that two to one. And then the date it. I don't know what the date is, so I'm just going to make one up. And there we have it. Brown apple, one to one, 1016. And if you have a better labeling system, feel free to use that instead. The last piece is these apples, or are these apples? These are like candy. They are basically apple crisp without the crisp. So if you like that sort of thing and know what to do with this, this sort of thing, put it in the fridge and use it for baking, cooking, whatever you do. I don't know how to cook or bake. My wife does, and she does magic with these. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Enjoy your apple syrup, and we'll see you next time on Kill Devil.